When I first started this series, I was concerned with more monochromatic or one color, variations of one color, variations of values of one color. It was, was an important part of the idea. As I moved along, I made several variations of that and a couple of them where I, I made them pop a little bit, the opposite of what I was doing. But then that gave me an idea for something else. So I moved into an area where the monochromatic becomes a, becomes a bi, bi uh, monochromatic, in other words, two, a two color and parts of the mystery of, of mixing the two colors coming up with, with the, third, the third color is making a color pool, what we call a color pool in, on the palette. And that's, that's an important part of this is that it looks like it's red but it, but it has a lot of uh, what they call in, in watercolor opera color, which is a kind of uh, opera color is a color that's made from uh, uh, the the uh, more permanent degree, uh, colors that came from car paint and things, but with but a much softer feeling than the ones that, the, that we used to get. It was ac when the aqua violets and all that and the aqua reds and all that and the quinacridones. So what they're talking about is the, in the quinacridone system for car paint. So what I have here is the gold watercolor and the uh, uh, mixing of three different reds and an orange to get this and get variations of it in the dark. And this the softer, making this a much softer than it would be as opposed to this, the harder line, the harder reds down here. So the more red I added to the, the uh, more the softer line, the more red I added, the darker it got. So the dark's made by just adding red, variations of red. One of the brushes that I'm using that I wasn't using before that I used to use a lot, there is uh, uh, the Japanese hake brushes and uh, because of the goat hair. The goat hair, it keeps it smoother, much smoother. And then I have the opposite of that. I have the, the cheap house paint brush with the, with the bristles to make texture with. So playing these two against each other for big areas, like covering the whole, the whole color on the, and, and putting a, a, a single color down over the whole sh uh, the watercolor paper first, also gives me a, a, the, that, the use of the goat hair for making that a smooth, tex a smooth texture to play against, a, the rougher texture on top of it, this making the, the rougher texture. So once the smoother, once the rougher. The smaller, the smaller uh, mixture of the Tolkien plastic hairs and the sable hair makes for a brush that can hold the line very well. It doesn't, it doesn't, of course, compare with the Series Seven, but this this brush can take a beating. You can beat it up, and I can make a lot of textures with it, even though it's but, but small. But what I what I use it for is primarily for drawing for lines. The other brush that I use is one of my favorites. Is when the when the, uh, you have again the combination with the and so you have two two brushes in one, but they're again very sturdy compared to just the pure sable. This I can I can also play around with. And, and Keep, it keeps it keeps a point, and this other side I, I can use a, with a chisel or chisel feeling to it. Okay, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go uh, here, and I'm 
take the goat hair and I'm mixing gold watercolor what they call him what they call a pale gold and just very lightly going in with some of this red mixture that I have here. So it's a combination of what's there. I'm mixing this with that. So some areas I want to leave the, the, the gold showing a little bit lighter. Somewhere I go, that's the lightest up there, then a little here. But let that come through, but just kind of pulling it together. So where I see it's been a little, there, I can pull it in. I can use the, the, the corner of the goat here just to make it go around. I have in there, with this tool. I, 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 I drew the drawing like that, so it's, if you go through, you could see almost a sgraffito. The, the, uh, the old, the Mediterranean, ancient Mediterranean paintings with the sgraffito in the wall, where you're scratching into the wall, you're scratching into the paper, but with a rubber, with, with a metal rounded tip, so you don't cut the paper. If you go in with a uh, uh, with watercolor paper into the into the paper with something sharp like an exacto knife, like this, you can cut the paper. But when you go in with this rounded, you get this you get a you get the same sgraffito, but a it's protected. Now you see how it's drying. I can tell which way it's going now it more more unified less more unified being that it, that's closer in values than it was a, a few minutes ago and all it took was just a, a, a little swipe from the from the hockey brush with the goat hair but the goat hair is soft enough where it doesn't take out other, the other parts. Because we're in watercolor, everything is always wet. In that sense that the colors could always be lifted. Now I start, once I have that, I'm going to take one of my tools and we'll just I'm going to go into the hair. So you can see on the tip where the where it picks up the paint. This being the wider line of, of these uh, combing brushes, they call them for combing effects and it's used in house painting for people who are doing those multi-million dollar paint jobs. <laughs> if I see something that I want to soften, I just use a, a Kleenex or the toilet paper and just soften a little bit. Again, I'm not hitting it hard. I'm hitting it very lightly because I want that to be there, but not be there. What I've done here, when I went over it with the uh, with the soft brush and the goat hair brush, the goat hair brush very important so it doesn't wipe out the lines I or, I had there originally, and uh, but they they can go back and sit down more. The the colors can sit better and it made it come together more, mo more monochromatic, less 
bouncy. So I got the monochromatic feeling, but with two colors. Well, more than two colors, but two colors that are obvious, the gold and the reds. So when we're looking at uh, the softer reds, is we're, we're using the opera mixed, uh, opera watercolor color with, 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 a, with, a, with, a, with a stronger red. And that's where I get my, my ones that I'm drawing, the reds that I'm drawing with. And occasionally using it on, on, on the skin tone. But, that, but the, uh, the importance of the skin tone is the, is the, is the variation that I get without making it look too uh, too cubistic or multi multifaceted, multivisionary look. Multiple aspect is really what I'm talking. About.